All right, hello everyone. Welcome into another sound bath, psychic healing. My name is Mary Lisa. I am a psychic energy healer. And today we're gonna to be working on the womb space. And this is both our sacral chakra, it is our emotional sexual center. And when this chakra has clogs or static in it, it can come from um, relation, like sexual relationships or emotional relationships. It can come from uh, old trauma stored in the body. And uh, our creation center, whether you're in a male or a female body, is imperative to our expression, our living life. So it's right above the root. It is our second chakra for a reason. It's the second most important in our base, in our foundation. Hi, welcome, Brie. Um, and so in culture or society, I feel like we often negate uh, sexuality, emotionality, and we try to puritanize it or sanitize it. And so we're just going to explore what is ready to be read and retuned in the sacral chakra. Yes, Brie says that they love this one. I love this one too. Um, I feel like there's so much zest and juiciness in this chakra space. And so we're gonna be doing a variety of tools here. I'm gonna be using biofield tuning, which retunes the frequency and plasma that gets stuck out in our electromagnetic field, liberating it and then bringing it back home uh, so that it may flow uh, where it needs to, where we want it to. And I'm also be gonna, gonna be using some um, psychic tools just because them blended together is chef's kiss very very potent um i feel like biofuel tuning is like the the it's like the crane like with the wrecking ball it's like big powerful stuff but sometimes it takes a while to get to the center while the psychic healing is like an arrow it gets straight to the thing right then and there so them combined together they're very potent um been working through a womb healing was thinking about getting a yoni steam but we shall see yeah brie i'm so glad that we're collectively working on this together because mine has really been chatting to me lately about um the the clogging of energy so our depending on where you look there's a lot of different in you know kundalini or the um what's it called in qigong um, gosh, I forget, but our, our center is often this womb space. It's where a lot of fire, a lot of energy lives. And oftentimes there's like a yoke as Eileen McCusick describes it between the, these energy centers. And so a lot of our fire, a lot of our power never reaches it into our sense of self, our love, our expression, our, um, seeing and our knowing. So if we can usher it upwards, uh, then we are doing ourselves incredible favors. So, hi, Bailey. Welcome in. Let's get into it. I'm actually just taking a break right now from the online course. I'm so excited to be giving it up to you guys soon. Um, but yes. Okay, I'm actually going to ground myself. Oh, no, I'll do it with you guys. First question. As you can see, I'm a little scattered. I've been working a lot. Um, do I have permission to enter into your energy field? Let's do it. One seventy four. Coming up on your Earth star, your negative polarity below your feet. Mm -hmm. 
so I, I do a lot of um, trades with other psychics and I had someone tell me the other day that um, my womb was upset with me. And um, that is the first energy that I'm reading over here. And it's funny how it works because you get introduced to an idea and then it comes up in a psychic reading and you're like, oh, that must be just because it happened to me. And it's like, no, it's because we're all experiencing something similar and we're being asked to collectively wake up to it. Oh, there's a really powerful emotional imprint and our earth star is telling us about it. It has very Lilith qualities. It's like, you've repressed me and you've shunned me and you've made me feel dirty. It's kind of sad. So let's just validate that. Anytime we made ourselves feel dirty, we shamed ourselves because shame does live in the sacral chakra. So let's just listen to what she has to say. So now we've pivoted and we're charging the earth star. So I want you to create a grounding cord, a hollow tube that will help you release anything in the way of you getting connected with your sacral chakra and being empowered by the flow of its energy. My grounding cord with this energy in mind is magenta been working a lot with magenta lately. So hook it up to your body, a sacral chakra for female bodies and root chakra for male bodies. And then let the other end of the cord drop all the way down, down, down. Plug it into the center of the earth. Say hi to Mama Gaia. Hello. And then press the on button and begin releasing, letting go of energy in the way of your sacral chakra fully expressing itself. I can see loads of black energy being released. Other people's idea about sexuality, other people's ideas about emotionality. How many times did someone tell you to calm down or relax? <sighs> How many times did someone say, I don't know, something derogatory about the way you're <laughs> going about your sexual business? Like these things get stored as black energy in our field because it's not ours. Black doesn't mean bad. It means not us. Yes, yeah, Brie brings up a good point. There's so many ideas out there about how we should use our bodies, how we should use our sensuality. Even the word sensuality is like inexplic inexplicably connected to sex. And it's like, no, sense, using your senses, like not everything. We've conditioned ourselves to think that everything is dirty, taboo. Hello, Alex. Welcome in. So continue to ground out. Allow the earth to vacuum these energies that are not yours. Or if you want to make yourself laugh, which laughter allows you to release a lot faster, just imagine a toilet flushing like, goodbye, not mine, freeing myself up. And go ahead and flush down white energy unconsciousness around sexuality, sensuality, and creation. Hey, it's getting pretty quiet, so let's jazz it up.
All right, now I want you to ask the earth for the most perfect earth energy for you that will allow you to reconnect with the wisdom of your womb space, your creation space, your sexual space, your emotional space. Interesting. Mine came up as soil, like dirt, brown. Okay, so just bring that energy up to your feet, whatever it came up to you as. Let it wash over your feet. Open your feet chakras. Let it cycle up your legs. up your root, up your sacral, through your tummy, into your heart. <sighs> into your throat, up through your face and out your head, fountaining down around you, charging every layer of your aura, and then cascading down, plugging back into your feet. Run this earth energy for a bit. What color earth energy did you bring? And what does it symbolize for you today? As I mentioned, mine was like dirt and soil and brown energy is a very dense energy. And I've run it twice in the last two weeks. So I find that very interesting. It's very body oriented. It's very dense. And to me, running soil energy through my body in regards to my sacral is about don't be afraid to get dirty. Don't be afraid to like explore and like get sensual. I think of like kids like getting muddy and getting dirty and just not caring. So again, I'll ask you what color energy earth are you running and what does it mean? Run this energy. As you run this energy, I want you to ask your womb space, your sacral chakra space. How do you feel about this earth energy I'm running? Okay, good job. How are you guys feeling? Now I'm gonna be doing the same thing to your crown, or I'm sorry, your sun star, your magnetic component, the masculine, the positive polarity. Right above your crown. Oh, this one's not too tucked up. Okay, very interestingly, the sun star says it's really angry right now. Yeah, just like that. When I ask why, it talks about like, it's really frustrated that we keep, oh shoot, I gotta plug in my computer. So it's really frustrated in this like spiritual realm that we all, if you're here, you kind of are in it, um, that it gives us so many good ideas and we insist on taking it, taking ideas from others and then being like, I, I guess I have to do it that way. It's like, if we followed everyone's advice all the time about how to be spiritual, how to live the best life, how to be psychic, blah, 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 how to get money. 
um, we would not be living because we'd be so like, I have to do this step and then this step and then this step and then this step. And our sun star is like, just listen to yourself. Like I give you so much information and your sacral chakra is missing out on a lot of joy when you don't, when you don't just like tune into your own messages. Oh, goodness. So still checking the flow of everyone's energy. Okay, now I want you to shoot your ascension cord all the way up through sky and clouds and planets and stars. Connect it to source, plug it in. Say, hey God, what's up? Can I get a cosmic energy, please? And, uh, God for me always comes up as like a hilarious man with a white beard. And I call him Sky Daddy because it just makes me laugh. And uh, let's see what kind of cosmic energy can help support our womb creation, sexual, sensuality, healing. We're not laughing. We're not living. Ooh, so I'm getting like an ice blue, but it's like a thick drip. And this reminds me of like, oh gosh, like a sex magic parable that I read once about kind of the, what's it called? The elixir of life. Anyways, you can look it up. So what color energy did Source give you today for this healing? Bring it down to your crown, let it circulate, and then welcome it down into your head, into your chest, in your belly, melting down your legs and out your feet. Circulating back up around, charging every layer of your aura. Okay. Now I want you to circulate this energy. Ask your womb space, your sacral chakra, how it feels about this energy. Mine feels like it's being fed and it's being nourished. Okay. Now I want you to amalgamate both of these cosmic and these earth energies. Create a blend that is your own from the earth and the um, cosmos. And then let whatever is left over flow down your grounding cord, blessing the earth. Okay. So I'll give you a second. Blend the two colors and blend the two energies together. Let this new energy circulate as your own bi-directionally in your toroidal field. And then bless the earth with a siphon of this new blend. How do you guys feel? (sighs) 
Okay, now we are going to start on the outer edge of the field. I'm gonna be doing like um, kind of like a folded over one. We're not gonna be working on a specific side. This is gonna be um, the sacral chakra in one direction and we'll just see what comes up. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of swelling. Um, and so what we're gonna do is just give it voltage so that it can be empowered to use the energy to fulfill itself. Okay. I can already sense a lot of anxiety. Um, tune into your body, but I feel it in my shoulders, in my arms, in my neck, and in my chest. just felt it trigger back to the throat. If you think about, I'll just say that the sacral chakra and the throat chakra are intimately connected. I feel like, I need a, So there's frustration here. Um, I'm asking my healing master to remove the yoke from us. It's like a it's like a barrier or like a a dam preventing the upward flow of all this juice and zest. Yes, jaw too. Interesting. So I'm getting the message that we, because there's Kundalini energy down here. And I'm just getting the message that it's, um, we need to give it the proper respect that it deserves. It's like its own sentience. It's like giving me dragon imagery, giving me fire imagery. And it needs its respect. So I want you to go into your sacral chakra and just open up a dialogue and be like, hey, how can I respect you more? So I feel like the sacral chakra holds on to so much. It really is like a, it's got more feminine 
qualities to it than that, like it holds on to things. <laughs> um, and I feel like we just popped a bubble and like are draining toxicity from it, like old relationships, old dalliances. Did I say that word right? Probably not. But um, so we're just exploring that right now. I feel like two, there's a lot of regret about things we weren't able to manifest, which is really interesting. Because this is our, you know, our creation center. We're both male and females and all in between. It's it's an energy. Red dragons, huh? Yeah, I've heard that everyone has like a dragon. I've also heard that we're in year of the dragon. Um, so it's really interesting. We're just draining a lot of frustration from right now. Think of all the times you like held back yourself. And so our both our sacral chakra and our throat chakra are creative um, chakras. Like, I, you know, this is like where we birth things or emotions, manifestations. Um, it's also portals, you know, um, whether that be birth or sex or whatever. Um, and then our throat is about creation too. It's about all of this power that we've been percolating inside our bodies. And then we're ready to share our creation to the world through our throat. And so I feel like there, there can be a lot of frustration and disappointment in ourselves and others when we don't follow our bliss or our zest. How are you guys feeling? Yeah. I feel like we're just fanning its flames now, like through encouragement 
like feel what you want to feel, express what you want to express, create what you want to create. Um, and so we're just fanning those flames, allowing them to begin a circulation. Can you feel the heat in your sacral chakra? Mm. So your sacral chakra is talking about kindling as well. There can be a lot of, what I'm picking up right now is that we tend to have low fire there. We don't allow the sparks to connect to our kindling and then it creates almost like an inflammation response um, in our body. Hmm. Oh yeah, there it is. So whenever we feel a spark, like whether it be a sexual desire or whether it be like an inspiration to go travel or to, you know, um, write a, a little story or to go talk to the person in front of us, like these little sparks, we often say, no, no, mm -mm, it's not proper. It's not polite, whatever. We squash the spark. And so what we need to do is allow that spark to kindle, to kindle all that is in our sacral chakra. can feel the pressure rising. So let's see what that's about. Oh, there we go. There we go. About halfway through. So I feel like this leads to a lot of uh, digestive issues. When we don't allow our spark to kindle, there's not enough di there's not enough fire to spark our digestion, our digestive fire. So much of our system needs fire, and collectively, I feel like it's we're just being asked to examine where do we squash our fire, right? And who do we let squash our fire? Use your psychic leg to kick them out of your life. <laughs> oh. Okay, now we're at a space where we're cleaning out old partners, whether it be sexual, sensual, or, or you know, even just relationships. Um, we're cleaning out their energy.
So my healing master, I can see him, by the way, if you don't know by now, he does wild things in the psychic realm that make me laugh for a reason. I can see him like pulling out like postcards or, you know, of people and just like lighting them on fire. Like, thank you. Next kind of vibe. Um, He's doing it in kind of like an aggressive way, which is making me laugh, but. See, we're not changing these people or these memories or whatever. You just don't need to be having access to that anymore. It's like, that's what the Akashic Records is for. Okay, great. We experienced that. Now we push all that energy outside of ourselves, recycling it back to the Akashic Records. Thank you. Okay, right behind that is a really interesting energy that I'm picking up, which is like a repression. Because now we're on to sensuality, like eating the good food, lighting the candle that smells really nice, dimming the lights, getting cozy, um, giving someone an extended hug, um, you know, wearing clothes that feel good on our skin, this kind of sensuality. And... Um, gosh, there's a lot of repression in there about, no, I won't allow myself to eat this because it's bad for me. And no, I won't allow myself to get something nice because I have to be responsible. By, by the way, I'm not saying don't do any of these things. I'm just picking up on the overexertion of restrictive energy. Too much denial leads to containment and control. Okay, so you know how we have gut feelings, a lot of us, um, and you like you consider your gut before you know making decisions. I, I'm getting the idea too that your your sacral chakra wants to be considered. Like, do we like this? Do does this feel good to us? Ask it about the feelings. Like, does this feel good, or does this one feel good, or how do you feel about that? Start a communication and a dialogue with the sentience of your sacral chakra. Oh, and then of course, when we do that, it really opens its power of void, of, of chaos, of expansion. It really just opened up a window to show that it's so much more than just a chakra, it's a portal, you know, it's a creation space. OK, 
Okay, now we're on a little bit of a people pleasing energy. Um, too many times we've done things that did not feel good in our bodies or we're pressured to do things that did not feel good in our bodies because we were too afraid to cause waves or we wanted to please the other person. So just explore that and don't, don't attach to it. In fact, laugh it off, laugh it off. Even if it's a fake laugh, just open up your vibration. <laughs> if you fake laugh, you'll probably real laugh, so. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. Aha. The more that we clean it out and charge our sacral chakra, the more she, I say, I say she, because I see it as a very feminine energy. Um, it wants to filter in abundance to us. It's like a reward for following what feels good in a mildly hedonistic way, not like a destroy your life and fuck over pe other people kind of way. And like a way of like, oh, like I consider consequences, but I also know it just feels really good for me. And I, I chase that above your opinion of it. Sacral chakra just keeps saying, consider me, consider me. I feel like very Leo Sagittarius energy down here. Leo because of, you know, fire and creativity and, um, but it's also that childlike play. Like it's, it's not all grown. It's like, can you access that, that part of you that is silly and just, goes to a park and swings on a swing and laughs and laughs and laughs for no good reason. Oh, I see. Okay. We need more amusement in our lives, more ability to laugh. I definitely do. I tend to take things a little too seriously. And that's why I have historically a problem with contraction rather than expansion. So let's ask my healing guide to do it healing on that for us. I want you to imagine yourself laughing right now. Oh, we're releasing a lot. Oh, goodness. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Good job. Pouring a bunch of new recharged energy into your sacral chakra. Charging it like a battery, raising its voltage so it can do what it wants to do.
Perfect. Good job. How's everybody feeling? How was that one? I'm going to finish up the closing sequence by creating a figure eight pattern to help this energy circulate. Okay. Raise your will, connect it to your spirit's will and your body's will. And then I'll wrap you up in the perfect fifth, which is Fibonacci, G and C, C and G. An emotional one. You were able to discover some emotions that were in your sacral chakra that were ready to leave. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much. Um, immediately after this, I'm going to do a, a, a live for members only on clearing your telepathic channels. Um, so if you're a member, you can stay tuned in for that live. Otherwise, I will connect with you guys very soon. If you want a psychic reading, those are now available on my website. If you want to become a member, you just go to my homepage for YouTube. And uh, let's connect. Love you guys.